Welcome to History 2323, an overview of the Great Depression. Okay, it was an unforeseen event by at least the vast majority of Americans. Hoover's rugged individualism uh, and was, uh, was part of the thinking of the day, and FDR, remember Hoover was a hero in World War I as the food administrator head of the food administration he he saved uh, um, many european lives by getting food there rapidly after the war was over fdr actually had endorsed him to be president in the wake of that war and remember fdr will be running against him in 1932 so this within six months of hoover's election or sorry uh, being sworn in as president you will have um he defeats al smith uh, in the 20 election, you will have the the Black Thursday, which is uh, the beginning of the crash, and then the crash will occur on Black Tuesday in Wall Street, and that will lead to all kinds of um, of uh, problems. Um, banks will fail. Uh, you'll have um, massive unemployment, and of course, stock market itself will, will the the stocks will. Go become almost worthless in some cases. Okay, there are some myths and some truths. This is an endless debate on the, the depression. You can look at them in your lecture outlines on that. So, but for the most part, unemployment will go up. Uh, everyone's under stress. There are some who, you know, go through the through the uh, Great Depression unfazed. But for most Americans, it's going to be a very hard time. Uh, GM, GMP now, Jonah called G, GDP, is going down. Investments are down. Production levels are down. Unemployment is up. Okay, writing about this period, Studs Terkel wrote, a, uh, interviewed uh, many people about going through this. And one of his, uh, his book is called Hard Times. One of his subjects was a man named Ward James talking about the humiliation of having to stand in line for a handout. And that was, again, part of uh, the, the, the uh, undermining of what had been known as American, sorry, uh, known as rugged individualism. The farm Midwest, it's just not depression with the economy tanking, but also you have a huge uh, drought that will produce a dust bowl and these black blizzards recorded. And John Steinbeck's Grace, Grapes of Wrath are discussed this. Okies out of Oklahoma will go down Route 66 to California looking for work, uh, not finding much because um, uh Pay has gone south on almost all types of all kinds of employment. The the, the wages are very very low. Uh, in the south, you have the incident of the Scottsboro boys um, being accused of raping two girls on a train. Uh, I think all but one is a teenager, and they're going to be tried and initially sentenced to death. But a man named Samuel Leibowitz will defend them. And a retrial occurs, and the, the death sentences are re, 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 removed. However, you'll have um, them. The nine, eight of the nine, yeah, eight of the nine were sentenced to death. That's what it was. But Hate uh, Hate and, uh, Patterson will be kind of one of the leaders, and the last one to be released from prison won't be released until I think it's around 1950. So they're they're in prison for a while for a crime they most likely didn't con, uh, commit. Uh, those are the two girls that were on the train that accused them of rape. <clears throat> Most likely they were prostitutes. Uh, poverty uh, throughout the South. Um, and again, looking for um, lots of foreclosures on land, looking for uh, somehow to eke out a living some other way if your farm was taken from you. American families coped with it in all various ways. They kept their cars for one thing because that was a way to you know get out of the city or get out of town for a while. Get, board games became popular, especially Monopoly, Monopoly uh, radio dramas, uh, listening to a story on the radio, was uh, that was the initial American television set where the family gathered around to listen to to uh, all types, of, it could be comedy hour, it could be mysteries, whatever. Movies were popular as well, big jazz bands. Uh, and then... Hoover tries various things, as you'll see in your text, and these three things that go with him, rugged individualism, even though he's not all in on that, you'll see. But he didn't believe in direct relief because he thought it would weaken your will to work. 
and he wasn't uh, he was he was considered a progressive but it's going to be more of a passive progressive he was not into uh, like I said handouts so he will try things agriculture marketing act will be in your text Haley Smoot tariff these are done to try to um, well the tariff was probably raised and that's going to cause actually more economic problems but the, the tax cuts were too little to make a difference his biggest program was the reconstruction finance corporation and that's going to be near the end of his presidency and it was again not a not a complete success it had some I guess some success stories but and then as he is running for re-election he will be facing FDR and this uh, the World War One vets who had been promised a bonus in 1945 want them early they come to DC they camp out uh, in a tent camp trying to get Congress to pass the legislation so they get their bonus early. For some reason, Hoover or others in his administration panicked and they sent out the army to, to scatter the, the, the protesters, the military protesters from World War I uh, to send them away and that's going to be seen. People who read about it thought it was a, you know enforcing the law, but people who saw it, or sorry, saw pictures of it, it looked, it was a public relations disaster, I would call it, because the um, American soldiers in uniform chasing after or, ga or using gas and uh, so on on other former soldiers was not a uh, a very uh, inviting scene and so that left uh, Hoover unpop unpopular for other reasons besides the depression and so he will uh, as you'll see in the next uh, slideshow he'll go down and defeat uh, in the 32 election